Hello students, welcome back to our class of Automata. Now in today's class, we are going to learn how to make a DFA from any given example. Now here, the problem is that we have to make one DFA that accepts any string that contains AA as substring. And in our given input string, we can have any number of a or b or anything like that but there must be a substring a a so say we have a string like this that a b a b a a b so this will be our accepted string. Now here we are going to check that as we have a a in between them. So this is a accepted string by the machine. Now how to make a machine that will accept any string like this. So a b a will not be a string that will be accepted by the machine because we don't have any AA combination there. Okay, so let's try. Now, what I will do is that whenever you have any problem, so my suggestion to you students is that do one thing try to find out what is the fixed part. Now, here AA, you must have AA as a substring. So, I will do it like this. Make one state, then make another state, then make another state. Okay, so as we must have a a, so a from there, it will be another a. This must be your starting state, and this must be your ending state. Okay, so if you have a a, then you will you will simply start from here. You get a, then you get another a, and you will be here in the final state. Now, what about the other input symbol that is b? Now, if you have any number of b at the starting, then I will make one simple loop. Why? Because you can have like b b b anything like that. Okay, now any number of b. Can be there. So simply put one loop there. Now in the same way, if you get a a and then any number of b b b can be there. So I'll simply make a loop for b as well. Yes. Now you can have a a a a at the end also. Okay. So then this is this is not going to be a substring. Now you can have any number of a at the end. Uh, so it will be like self loop. You can make one loop symbol also. It will be A. So if you get any number of A or any number of B, it will simply be at the end and uh, this is your uh, final state. Now, what about this state? Now, in this state, uh, see, you can have A. Now, let's say B, 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 then A, then you can have a B in between. Okay, so what about that? So if you get any B, so my solution will be this. Why? Because see, if I get B B B B or anything, any 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 anything uh, so made of B only, and then I get one A and then a B, then I don't have any chance of having A A. So I will simply come back to start, and from there I will again have one A and A, then I will go there. Like if you. Have anything like that. So for the starting three B's, you will simply be running in this state. It is a loop uh, of B only, and then when you will have this A, you will be in this state, and when you will have this B, you will again come to this state, and when you will have on an A, so you are coming this state. So for this A, you will simply come to here, 
and for this a you will simply come to here and now any number of b or any number of a can be there and we will simply run there okay so this dfa is going to accept any string that has a and b as input string and uh, aa as a substring okay i think this concept is uh, now going to clear for you it is uh, a requested video by one of my online student so i hope it will help you okay in our forthcoming classes maybe i will cover uh, for some more example of making a dfa thank you